Hello, Sagicorn. Welcome to your monthly reading. This is going to be for November 2020. And today we're taking a look at a connection that you're dealing with, okay? So keep in mind this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, you can always check your individual sign, especially Sagittarius reading because there was cusp energy, Sagicorn energy specifically. So definitely go check that out. Um, but if it does resonate, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, and comment. I'd greatly appreciate it because that really helps the channel to grow. All right. So when we're talking about love, don't forget that the worlds could be reversed. Okay. Ooh, loving it. And by the way, while I was like doing my breath work just to get in touch with your energy and stuff like that, I was getting like clothes, clothing, designer stuff like that so that could be your line of field when it comes to career that could be your person's line of field but i'm also getting that for some of you there could be a piece of clothing specific piece of clothing i'm getting specifically a jacket um that you may either share or that you may have from this person and that could be the trigger of something uh something definitely about clothes but let's see we have oh dear come here we have alignment and wisdom give your relationship a chance and engagement why don't you look at that so i do feel like you are a little bit afraid of this not being the right thing to do of because i am sensing a little bit of possibly like reconciliation no, not necessarily reconciliation because i don't think that you had a solid relationship with this person possibly a one night stand or something very casual friends with benefits I don't feel like you never I don't feel like you ever had something real solid committed and so you may be a little bit afraid of this person not feeling the same you may be a little bit afraid of this person uh, having uh, forgotten you you know, of this not working out, that this is not a relationship that's worth pursuing. It's just sex, it's just whatever, and it's not, it's never going to be anything more than that. Not true, okay? Give your relationship a chance and engagement. I do feel like this is worth pursuing because I kind of feel like you really vibe really nicely together. And more than that, I feel like you have so much fun. It's like you feel alive when you're together. And... That is worth going for, okay? That is worth going for, especially having that alignment. I feel like you are very uh, sure of yourself. And I do feel like you have been connecting a little bit more with Capricorn energy, more than the Sagittarius energy, which for Mars and Mercury retrograde, and I mean, all these retrogrades that are happening, uh, it's really nice. It's really nice that you did. But now it's time for you to connect a little bit more with Sagittarius, especially with the retrogrades ending. Go and have fun, okay? Be a little bit impulsive. Especially, like, from the 14th forward, no more Mercury, no more Mars retrograde. So it's a great time for you to go, okay? Yeah, look at this. Eight of Cups and the world has the overall, overall energy. Something definitely ended. Something, someone definitely walked away. I kind of feel like it was your person. Well, I kind of feel like it was mutual, but you never really stopped thinking. You, I feel like you always wondered, mm, what if this could actually be something else? And your energy and like your think, you thinking about them is coming up really, really clearly. But again, the rules could be reversed. And that piece of clothing, again, getting a jacket or like a sweater, something like that. And that could be the turning point. That could be the initiator of this reconciliation, sort of reconciliation. And yeah, but let's see, we have 10 of cups in the past, queen of pentacles, huh? queen of wands for the month of November. In the past, this person could actually, so this could have been an affair. This person could have been married. I don't feel like you were. I feel like it was your person that was married. That was why I was getting that it could have been your person walking away. And when they walked away, I feel like it wasn't easy. But 
queen of pentacles here in your current situation. I feel like you started putting a lot of work or you're starting now to put a lot of work on yourself and creating that balance for yourself and nurturing yourself. And that is why I feel like you've started to appreciate your alone time a lot. And you started getting into a very reflective mode and starting to wonder about what do you really want in your life? What is worth pursuing? What is worth having in your life? What is good for you? What is not? And I also feel like for some of you, you may have actually started doing meditation or you started doing like tarot or oracle specifically. I feel like you started connecting more with spirit, you know, with spirituality and the universe and God, whatever you believe. And now for the month of November, we do have this Queen of Wands, which is a lot of sati. I feel like, again, right now you're very Capricorn and you're turning more into, okay, I have Capricorn's side is done, it's very perfect, it's really nice. Now let me go take care of my Sagittarius side because it's a mess. And I don't feel like it's that mess, but you're connecting more with that, more with having fun, with being impulsive, with being saying yes to adventure and just exploring yourself too. I'm also getting like a road trip for some reason or just some sort of trip that it is specifically for yourself. It doesn't mean that you'll go alone or that you you went alone, that could have already happened, but it was for your self-discovery, it was for your self-expression, for your dis discovery, I keep getting discovery, okay, but let's see what we have for you, four of cups, hmm. we also have four of swords, nice, three of swords, damn, goodness, I feel like you are going to say no to stuff that you actually want. So this person could actually come back to you because I do feel like you have been manifesting this person back. Either you know it or not, you have been healing. Right now, I feel like you're trying to get over this person even though you can't stop thinking about them, but you're trying to get over them. And this person may actually come back and you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to do it. I'm not. No, this can't, have, this can't be happening. And I do feel like there is still a little bit of Capricorn energy attached to you. Well, it is part of your energy, right? But your Capricorn side is speaking and not so much the Saggy. And I do feel like you're saying no to something that you really, really want. Because you're in this Four of Cups. You can't stop thinking about them. You do want something to happen. Are you going to let it, though? That is another question. Whole different questions. But let's see your person's side. We have the Six of Pentacles, Justice, King of Pentacles. They have been, oh my god, I love this. They have been working a lot on themselves, balancing themselves, putting a lot of nurture and care into themselves too, and being a perfect match to one another. Huh? Look at that, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. That is so beautiful. That is a powerful couple. And them having this justice here, I do feel like they want to make things right. So if they left, they possibly didn't want to leave at the time, but it was the right thing to do. Um, and they regret it a lot. And they may come back to ask for that jacket, for that sweater, and be like, hey, so I was wondering, can we make things right? Can we talk about what happened? Can we start balancing things? Six of Pentacles and Justice, that is a lot of balancing. And I also feel like in the beginning, they're going to show you a lot, like very small things, you know? Um... Small steps, basically, because I'm not sure they don't really know how you feel if you're up for it, if you're going to say no. They understand that when they left, you had a life and that you would continue to have a life. They understand that. So if you don't want this, they'll be like, okay, well, that's that's fine. I'm really sorry about that because I really want this, but I totally understand Totally understand, but they really want this. Especially having, give your relationship a chance and you having the three of swords there. 
Mm, I would go for it, really. Because I feel like you're saying no to something that you really, really want. And I feel like it was, you are in this Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, right? You are taking a lot of energy, of your energy, to get over this person, to heal from them. And now it's really hard for you to go back to it and have that fear or have that possibility of getting hurt again and having to do it all over again, you know? So I don't feel like you are going to accept this with very small gestures. I don't. I really feel like they have to work their ass off to get to you, but it is worth it. Okay? So let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. On your person's side, we have the moon, devil, chariot. They weren't in a happy relationship. Whatever they had, it, again, it's nothing. They said that it was the right thing to do, that they needed to do that, but they regret it like immediately because it wasn't a healthy relationship. And now they realize that and they are ready to move towards something stable, towards you, right? Could actually be dealing, by the way, with a, we have uh, Libra energy here, especially could also be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Capi. Okay, but uh, they really want this. They really want to make things right. They really want to fight for you. Slowly, but they want to fight for you. Okay, let me check that Queen of Wands. Empress, King of Swords, Two of Wands. Woo, with the Hierophant here, bottom of the deck. So again, uh, when it comes to career, I do feel like you're going to be very creative and any idea that you have, totally pursue them because it's worth pursuing. But when it comes to this relationship, I feel like you're going to... I think you're going to play hard to get. And I totally support that, actually. Uh, you're going to make them sweat. It's like you're not going to go into this thing without them moving a single finger. No, they have to move the whole body. Either way, you're not up for it. It may cost you, uh, it, it may really be hard for you to do that, but it is the best thing for you. And I do feel like they are going to try and really fight for this. But I feel like you want to you want to see them sweat. You really want to see them sweat. You really want to see them move. You really want to to see how much they care for you. Like how far would they go? That's more like it. How far would they go to be with you? And I think very far. Okay. So let's pull some messages and advice. Okay. <laughs> there it is, that car, that trip that I was talking about. So they may actually go... Um, Towards you, they they may go and, and meet you, okay. But let's see. <laughs> so we have your wishes are coming true, which is this person, the reconciliation, you getting back together. We have healing. Be unapologetically you. You also have uh, internal factors and paired up with this healing. Why are you so scared? of getting back to this person or why are you resisting it so much is it only because you have that self-worth and you don't want to get hurt again or is it fear i feel like you you should think about it a little bit okay we also have stop thinking so much journal Okay, so this healing and journaling, totally. Self-codependency, 
I love me and look around there's something you're not seeing inside of you with this internal factors something inside of you that I think you're saying to yourself that is self-codependency that is self-worth that is love for yourself is it though or is it fear go with your urges go with your wishes with your desires okay because again i feel like you're going to say no to something that you really want and it doesn't mean that you have to say yes either but you can say uh well maybe we'll see we'll see with time we'll see okay so let's pull some messages from this person are my best friends over here but let's see what we have so I don't feel worthy of you forgive me uh, I wasn't ready we also have I'm not ready and that is that I'm worthy of you and forgive me I feel like they are really again they're really worried that you will never forgive them that you'll never want them back is that thing they understand if you have a they understand that you have a life and that you possibly moved on. Um, but they really want to be with you. My life isn't complete without you. We'll be together. They will really fight for you. I want to I want to marry you. Your eyes. Will you be my lobster? This is life partner. Friends reference, by the way. Um, but life partner. Marry you. They really want this. They really want to be with you. Okay, so Psychicor, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated, hope it helped somehow, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.